Hello guys, this is Team JHQ here with some Force of Will for once. Um, these are the two old trial decks from Dawn of Valhalla. And in this video, as you can probably tell by the title, we'll be doing the Jet Black Phantom uh, deck. So let's get it open. Obviously, you've got your mat, which is like every other plastic mat in every other card game. It's got the standard things on it, which obviously isn't that interesting. Rules, quick rule sheet. This is one you go to if you can't go to flick through a rule book. Which takes obviously a lot of effort, especially in the middle of a game. Double sided, tell you lots of interesting things about things about the rules if you're new to the game. Then we have the health and safety. Obviously we don't need that. Here we have the deck itself, which is gonna be a pain to open. Got it. Took you long enough. Hey, leave me alone. Yeah. Okay, so, we have the deck, and uh, we have the shiny one. Uh, Asthema the Fallen Angel of Desolation. It's a resonator, and it's a designator, deity, sorry. Flying and activate, you remove a resonator from your graveyard. This card gains 100 100. It's really good to make a forecast, and it can activate any time pretty much. So you can make this really high depending on how many resonators you've got in your graveyard. So that's pretty good. Then you've got the ruler of the deck. Uh, Zay and the Warrior of the Condemption. You pay two black, one normal. While you have ten or more cards in your graveyard, rest it. Choose a resonator in your graveyard, return it to your main deck and shovel. So you pretty much never deck out if you keep this guy out. Continuous win of a resonator put into a graveyard from field. This card deals 100 damage to your res to the control of the resonator. So that's really good. And it's direct to rate form. Um, each player chooses a resonator in his or her field, then destroy all of other resonators and additions in the field. So that's really good to just for um, clear on the field. And then each player chooses two cards from his or her hand and discards the rest. So that's really good if your opponent's got a lot more hand advantages than you. You just go this, and then your opponent has to discard their whole hand apart from two. Makes it a lot even. A lot cooler, though. Yeah. It also looks really shiny and cool. Yeah. Then we have one Orpheus, the uh, Never Player. He has Resonator DRT 600-200, he casts uh, 4 in total. Remove Resonator from your graveyard, put um, this card from your graveyard into your rested. Into your field rested. This ability can only be activated once in each of your turn. So, field presence is always good, you really cannot complain about that. You obviously want to keep field as much as possible. This one, Nahidog the Hell Dragon. He's a Resonator Dragon, 1200-1200, really good beat stick for only 4. Continuous at the end of the turn, you may pay 500 life if you don't banish this card. You can spare 500 life to keep a massive beat stick on field. Early game, this is going to be really strong. Well, about mid game, because falls mana. It's going to be really strong. Then we have just the normal commons now, where we have the shinies. This one has four skeleton soldiers. Uh, this one is a 200 200 skeleton resonator for only one cost. Uh, break, put all race skeleton resonators in your graveyard into your field. So that's an instant field um, advantage for you. Even though it's weak, it's still a very good, um, pretty much free uh, shield. Now we have one, two, Familiar of Hades. Uh, 600, 400, cost three. Uh, break, put it into your field. That's very good. Continuous, when this card attacks, put the top card, deck into your, put the top card in your main deck into your graveyard. So filling that graveyard up for your J ruler. You can already see the combos with this um, trial deck. So it's starting out to be pretty good. Then we've got four Lantern, the Spirit of the Gravekeeper. It's a 500 500, cost one. And when it's put into your graveyard, you destroy this. When a card is put into your graveyard, destroy this card. So again, filling up the drop zone uh, very quickly so you can get a J rule activated as quickly as possible. Then we've got four Ghost Swordsman. Again, it's only cost two. And 200 200, Resonated Ghost, break, put this card into your field. And activate pay what pay uh, two when this card is destroyed by battle damage and put into put it into your field rested. So basically, if it's destroyed by battle, you get to bring it back pretty straight away by only paying two. It's extremely cheap for that field um, advantage. Field advantage is obviously very important. And then we have four blood thirsty baron. Again, just a 3-3, free, free, 800, 800, and break, choose a card in your opponent's hand and discard it at random. So that's very good if you've got into your resonator and they only have two cards in hand. You activate this, they only have one again, and if you activate two, they only have no one now. And when it attacks, destroy target resonator in your field. So again, filling the drop zone, which is obviously very useful. Then we have four Dolahan, the Dead Knight. 
four, six, six. Uh, continuous when this card is put into a graveyard from your field, destroy the resonator targeted by enter. And enter, choose the target to resonator. So destroy pretty much anything on the field when it enters for four, four. That's obviously very good. And you can use it to kill your own things, activate their break effect. And yeah, just really good combos for this deck, especially just straight out for the trial deck. Then we have two Skeleton Horsemen. It only costs two, four, four. Break, put it into your field. And continuous at the end of your turn, put the top card of your deck into your graveyard. So yes, may people say milling in the deck is bad, but this deck is obviously really good because you want them in the graveyard, so you can send them back or into the field, into your, from your graveyard to your hand to your deck or uh, to Jay Ruler to deactivate. This costs four. It's a twelve one, twelve in uh, ten. Sorry, resonated dragon. Put the top card, put this card into your field. Continuous when this card battles, destroy it at the end of the turn. So again, drop zone. It is a massive beat for only four mana cost. That is really good for mid-game. And it looks nice. Yes, you can't beat a Dundee Dragon. Yeah. Then onto the additions. 